Hey everybody, this is Lauren. It's uh, the 6th of August. It's almost 12.30 in the afternoon, and it's been almost uh, 12 hours since our Zenesthus Imanis, um, her name is Jana, uh, since she uh, actually successfully completed her malt after our little emergency last night. Here I want to give you a good look, a good view of how she's doing. There we go, get that in nice focus. I measured her exuvium and it it was right at three and one quarter inches and I think she is easily at three and three quarters to four inches now. This is the first time that the purple colors and the purple starburst on her carapace have begun to show. Um, so we're really excited about that. She's a beautiful specimen. You can see that she's um, came through the molt very well, nice and fuzzy. She's been taking it easy this morning. Uh, in her, her new habitat that we created for her. She's got plenty of room to walk around, plenty of moisture. Just some basic background information on, pardon me, on this uh, particular species of Xenesthus. The Amanus is called the Colombian Lesser Black. Sometimes it's called the Purple Bloom Bird Eater um, or the Colombian Purple Bloom. And the the, gener the areas that they, they originate in are the tropical rainforests uh, in Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Peru, and Panama. And they were uh, first described by Osler in 1875. And in terms of their habitat and ecology, during the day they prefer 75 to about 84 degrees. Uh, and then at night they prefer 66 to 73 and they usually in, uh, would prefer to have 70 to 85 percent humidity. So we keep uh, a water dish in here, which she actually has uh, consumed some out of. And then we also do spray where she's not sitting at, pardon the, the shakiness here, where she's not sitting, we will, you know, moisten various areas uh, under, you know, of the, uh, of the substrate. So, you know, what we have for her is a cork bark, um, where we've taken silk ivy leaves and some silk fern leaves, found holes inside the uh, naturally occurring holes inside the cork bark so that she has um, some foliage that she can hide under and walk around and walk on, or as in the case of last night, get stuck on when she's trying to flip over to molt. molt. Um, if you're curious about that, just check out the videos from last night. We've uploaded them. And so what we did was we just, you know, we inserted them uh, those stems into holes and then propped it up just a bit. This is a piece of cork that she really likes and often she will just come right under here and she likes this little safe space underneath. That's her safe space. So this is Jana um, and her name uh, is uh, in honor of a dear friend in Canada that's John3800 on YouTube who has been, um, just with all of his videos and his efforts and his kindness and ease of communication, has made it possible for us to really get the information we need um, for the various genus and species that we have. So, here is our Xenesthus imanus, the Colombian Lesser Black, uh, suspect female named Jana. If we get proven wrong on the gender, it'll change to John. So, here you go. Thanks for watching. Please like subscribe, leave comments, and ask any questions if you'd like. Have a great day.